We really can't underestimate the significance of ancient sites on our world. Each one has a different story and answers to our ancient past. Structures and objects found on our planet continue to confound our imagination as to how they were built and conceived in the first place. It is blatantly obvious by now that an advanced civilization existed on Earth. There were various gods in which average humans worshipped. When the gods left this planet, we set about constructing vast structures in an effort to show them our appreciation of the time when they were present on Earth. Eventually, we slipped into a stage of confusion and worship of these beings was taken advantage of by various establishments throughout the world in an effort to gain control over the populations. In this sense, we were brainwashed from a time from which we needed guidance. Instead, we were misled. This probably dates back to the Great Flood when it was decided a deluge was needed to cleanse the earth of the demonic and of the Nephilim. This event was brought about by the very beings who were supposed to protect us, the Watchers. Anyway guys, getting sidetracked here, we wanted to talk about the richest temple in all of the world, so just wait till you hear this. Like all hidden treasure stories, Kerala's Sri Pinamimman Swami Temple has been a fascination in India for many years, one shrouded in mystery and fear. Sri Padmanabhan Swami Temple is a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. The shrine is currently run by a trust headed by the royal family of Travancore. The temple and its assets belong to Lord Padmanabhan Swami and were for a long time controlled by a trust headed by the Travancore royal family. However, now the Supreme Court of India has removed the Travancore royal family from leading the management of the temple. The Supreme Court of India and its seven-member committee have already opened six of the seven secret vaults and have discovered at a depth of 20 feet underground around 100 billion in treasure including golden idols, golden elephants, and idols wearing 18-foot diamond necklaces as well as countless bags of gold coins from around the world and ceremonial costumes included 66 pound solid gold coconut shells studded with rubies and emeralds from all over the world. In an inventory list from August 2014, Vault A contained 2,000 pounds of gold coins dating to around 400 BC. Also found was a pure golden throne adorned with hundreds of diamonds and fully precious stones meant as a seat for the 18 foot long deity. In additional solid gold crowns have been found, all studded with diamonds and other precious stones. The valuables are believed to have been accumulated in the temple over several thousands of years, having been donated to the deity by various dynasties and kings. Chamber B has long been considered by astrologers of India as highly mysterious, sacred and too dangerous to unveil it. The enormous steel door of Chamber B has two massive cobras on it and has no bolts, latches, or any other means of entry. Around 100 years ago, when the area was grappling with a serious famine, the temple authorities tried to open the chamber to use the treasures kept locked behind the doors, but when they heard the sound of gushing ocean waves from behind the door, they stepped back and gave up the idea. Since then, it is believed that the chamber is connected to the sea, and any attempt made with the modern technology to open the door will unleash catastrophes across the state and in Kerala. According to legend, this portal unlocks by itself by speaking a sacred chant. Could this in fact be a stargate to another realm? Would force entry unleash mayhem? This is one of the most stunning examples of ancient technology in all of India, a door that can't be opened and has no apparent means of opening. You have to wonder that if you consider the other six doors that have been opened at this temple, they contain enormous wealth that is in the very high billions and hard to put an exact value on. These doors, however, were decoy doors in an effort to put would-be invaders off the idea of opening the B-Vault. 
If you consider this effort of value and riches to deter the opening of this door, then you must speculate that whatever lies behind this door must be more than just that of material value. It must be godlike and beyond our comprehension. The valuable objects of the temple are believed to have been accumulated in the temple over several thousands of years, having been donated to the deity and subsequently stored in the temple by various dynasties. The Trevancore royal family, the Kalathrases, the Palavas, the Kolas, and many other kings in the record history of both South India and beyond, and from the rulers and traders of Mesopotamia, Jerusalem, Greece, Rome, and later from the various colonial powers from Europe and other countries. Most scholars believe that this was accumulated over thousands of years, given the mention of the deity and the temple in several extant Hindu texts. The Sangam Temple lecture, wherein it was referred to as the Golden Temple on account of its then unimaginable wealth, and the treasures consist of countless artifacts dating back to the Chira and Panya epochs. What do you guys think of the richest temple in the world and its mysterious unopened Vault B? Comments below, and thank you for watching.